video of the runoff from a rainstorm onto from his property into the river, which is nothing, to the next door neighbor's property who runs an industrialized farm. And it's a fucking disaster. It's horrific to look at. Because you just see the topsoil's gone. Look at the look at the difference. There's a clear line between his property on the left and the neighbor's property on the right. I mean, how insane is it that this is normal for us? This is the problem. The problem is they've gone into these monocrop agriculture situations where they plot, they use the same land over and over again and they have to apply fertilizer and they have to apply herbicides and pesticides and makes it, make it toxic for everything. But whatever the fuck it is they're growing, a lot of the stuff they're growing is genetically modified in order to be more tolerant of these pesticides and herb herbicides. And that's not good. No. This is, this is a major source of the, the problem. Yeah, fertilizer. But I can't comment on that. Yeah, it's I'm really not, interesting it's stuff. My, it's it's obviously not my wheelhouse either. But no. these uh, people that I've had uh, to talk about it. But the point is that we're going to need, they, some people say, three, four, five times the amount of electricity that we have now by 2050, which is the... We use 2050 as a yes. goal mark because that's the IPP, IPCC standard. They said that by 2050, all the countries of the world have to bring down the carbon emissions to zero. <laughs> to zero. Now, yeah. well, that's, how is that that's going to be? It doesn't work. I mean, the, gre the green renewables are great. There's a great idea. It made great sense when you saw Al Gore's film. But the truth is that CO2 keeps going up, not down. It's gone up since then, and we've spent trillions of dollars since the 2000 period. This is 20-some years now, and it just hasn't worked, and nobody admits it. That's what's crazy. So the only way to get the carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere is do it, do it clean, do it right now. You've got to get rid of gas, and you've got to get rid of oil, basically, and you've got to be severe about it. That means you have to have an alternative, a clean, cheap, scalable alternative. And this, it's, uh, nuclear is the only one that's proven itself, proven itself for so many years. And yet nobody, <laughs> it doesn't even get talked about. I mean, journalists will say, and there's nuclear, which is dangerous. But it's not dangerous if you do it right, if you build it right and you keep it right. It's been done time and time again. It's just that one, you know, I wish there had been more accidents. It would have really taught the lesson. Every industry has had needed accidents. I mean, when they started the railroad, when they, they thought that your brain would get pushed back in your head right. because of the speed of the uh, of going forward. Same thing was true with airplanes. You need you had more crashes before the airplane has been, you know, modified into this incredibly powerful machine. We're not going to get rid of the airplane. We're going to have to. We have to use fuel. We have to use aviation fuel, and that will come from the marriage of hydrogen. And carbon, actually, and it will need a lot of heat, and and uh, that heat is going to come from nuclear. It's not going to come from anything else. That amount of heat. It's a, we also have to take into consideration that if the population continues to grow and we're doing things the same way, whatever our output is now that's damaging, it's going to get worse and worse and worse. Yeah. There's going to be more people. The United States is in good shape compared to the rest of the world, but look at India. Yeah. Look at the, look at Africa. Which is, I mean, people will burn wood if they have to, or much less coal. I mean, they, they, they're they not going to stop people from getting things, and they're going to want energy. That is going to be the prime. India is crucial. We, 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 we bring it up in the film. They have some, they are doing some great nuclear work. They have 20-some reactors in India, but they are definitely on the path of coal, like China. They, they, they're going to get, and their demand is enormous for coal. So what happens? It's, it was no, there's no luck. We can't get out of that mess. We, we're going to have so much, so much pollution, so much get, uh, warming that uh, the only way we can do it is by building nuclear now and taking everything else we can throw in there, including renewables, yeah. alongside it. Well, it's, I think it has to become something that people are aware of and becomes trendy. And that's one of the great things yeah. in the film. Um, the, uh, the, this Brazilian woman that lives in Austin. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, she lives in Austin. Yeah. Her name is Isabel Bomke. And B -O -E -M. She, she makes TikTok films. Yeah. And these little TikTok videos, the, the great thing about those is they become viral. And maybe that is how the message gets out. Yeah. 
I, I think that's part of it. I think it needs to be addressed by leaders. Uh, the leadership of, let's say, P President Xi of China has committed to the UN that he, by 2060, they will have zero carbon emissions. Well, that's, I think that's you're going to... That's a vow. It's going to take someone who's got some courage yeah. because it politically it's, a, it's an issue because people do have this false narrative in their head. Yeah. So it's going to take someone who's willing to step outside of what the polling would show. Because I, I would imagine that no, the polls are, most, most people, if you, if you just started talking about we, we have to switch the entire country over to nuclear power, no. if you're running for president, people go, whoa, 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 whoa. So many people just have the knee-jerk reaction right. that, that is brought about because of these films, because of you know, the, the anti-nuclear power movement. There's, a, there's still that propaganda sure. exists in people's heads, or the, well, the false narrative. Rather. Necessity is the mother of invention. As things get worse, it will be clear that we need nuclear more and more and more, and we'll, we'll come late to the game and we'll say, well, we gotta build more and more and more nuclear because we're not, it's not working with, with wind and solar. Right, but I don't think you're gonna hydro. see that from a politician. I don't, th I don't think a politician's gonna stick their neck out. Except I think necessity. it's gonna have to be, it's gonna have to be so prevalent in the public narrative. It's gonna be, have to be so prevalent in the zeitgeist that well, they think politically it's okay to, to to be a proponent of it. Well, I think the younger generation is changing the, the numbers and the demographics of the, I think 60% I'm, I'm reading are pro-nuclear now. That's great. In the US. It's now, probably TikTok. <laughs> well, maybe. It but, might be. But you know, it's a new generation. They're more scared about climate change than they are about war. Yeah. And. Uh, a lot of the older generation, they, they confuse, who confuse nuclear energy with nuclear bomb, are, are dying off. And I think there is going to be a change. It has to be. There's no other way. It's there has to be. It's just... On top of it, it's a miracle. It's an it's a incredible... If it's handled correctly, built correctly, like Hyman Rickover did with the Navy... That's the Navy was one of the biggest developers of nuclear in, in America. Yeah. From the 1950s. Uh, they built nuclear submarines and they kept going. They, they're still Just going. talk about the power in a nuclear submarine, how long it lasts, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> one, one small uh, reactor can run a submarine for how many? 50, 60 years. That's insane. And also, if you put two of them into an aircraft carrier, you've seen the size of those. Yeah. That's uh, oh, it's a giant 6,000 people on that thing. That can go for... Also, though, two reactors can make, th that's what they're doing, actually. Two reactors can make an a, a aircraft carrier go for, uh, I don't know, how many years, 50 years, 40 years. That's insane. 